Hi there everyone. Welcome to Creative Coloring with Irem and I am Irem Tasneem. Today I'll be recreating these two cards I shared for the April release for Altenew. These cards feature the new summer garden paper pack and this paper pack has gorgeous watercolor designs on the papers. Okay, so these are original cards uh, that I made for the blog hop and you will see how quick and fun and easy it is to make these. For the first card, I used the pattern paper with a large floral bouquet and I already went ahead and fussy cut most of the design. You can see clearly that I have not cut this piece very neatly and it will not matter. You won't be able to notice it after we are done with it. And you can see how it will go over our watercolor background. I will play this slightly off the edge. Things you need are the 36 pan watercolor set by Altenew and a watercolor cardstock and of course uh, this summer garden paper pack. I also have my color chart in front of me to see which color would uh, work with the fussy cut piece. I'm using my watercolor palette. Uh, you'll find this in two sizes at the Altenew store. I'll wet the back of my cardstock and place it on the watercolor palette so if it so it sticks um, to the uh, palette. This is a trick uh, that our very lovely Lydia Evans taught in several of her Facebook Live videos. If you haven't checked the fa Facebook Live videos, please do as they are packed with information and techniques. So I'm going to spritz some water onto the watercolor cardstock so that when I apply paint on it, it flows easily. Oh, and this spray bottle that people ask me about because um, of the nozzle. Um, my friends who have pets, cats or dogs will recognize this. It is a, a flea spray bottle actually and that I have thoroughly washed before filling it up with water. It's absolutely awesome. Gives a very fine spray. Um, I love it. Okay, so what I'm doing now is that I'm holding the fussy cut design in one hand and making sure where it will go and then adding matching color to the background so that when I put the piece down, it looks part of the cardstock. The colors I'm going for are greens and uh, one of the blues. And I am using my color chart that is in front of me so I know how to uh, how a color would uh, look and if it will match my fussy cut design. Since the watercolor cardstock is already wet, it's easy to spread the color around. And I will keep placing the fussy cut design to see if I'm following the colors properly. Now I'll start um, adding little watercolor to the fussy cut piece to hide the white paper and some of uh, the more visible edges. Please be careful while doing this, don't add too much water as this is not watercolor paper and I have these fine cut out branches which might tear if I add too much water. Once I'm happy with the color wash, I'll add splatters of blue and shades of green while the paper is still wet. Before adding more splatters, I'll dry the panel with my heat gun. After adding all the splatters, dry the panel completely or leave it to air dry. It's totally up to you. I forgot to do this and moved on to the next step. I'm using a gel medium to apply behind my fussy cut design. This will act as glue. I have to adhere this to the panel now. And as I mentioned, I forgot to dry um, the watercolor panel. And obviously, I can't stick the fussy cut design on wet cardstock. By the time I realized this, my glue or the gel medium started drying and as I applied it, because I applied a thin layer of it. So you see that um, I'll have to go back in and apply more of the matte medium. So remember, dry your panel, run it through your die cutting machine to uh, straighten it if you are um, like me and can't wait. And then move on to applying glue to the fussy cut piece. You can apply any matte glue that won't show later after drying. This matte gel medium that I am um, using is mostly used in mixed media projects and you can find it easily. I'm impatient so I didn't wait for my glue to dry. 
wait for your glue to dry though before cutting off the extra pieces um, of the edge. Next I'll use white chalk paint to apply splatters. You can use the pure white ink spray too for this purpose but I use chalk paint because when it dries it stays white and doesn't absorb the background watercolour. Next I'll use the black paint from the pan set and add fine black paint splatters. For the die cut word hugs, um, I will use Desert Night and the Emerald uh, watercolor brush markers and uh, scribble um, some directly onto the die cut and then spritz this with water. I will go back in again to add more color if there is need. Once this is dry, it will have this gorgeous mottled look. I'll uh, then use a plain off-white die cut and adhere it behind the watercolour die cut as an offset so it stands out a bit on our uh, watercolour card front. Just um, like it's done in the original card. For the second card I'm going to trim the paper to 4 by 5.5 inches. This is my card size. You can trim it to 4.25 by 5.5 which is a regular card size. Again, I have uh, my very handy color chart with me. Comparing that to the paper, I'll start adding color. I actually forgot for a second that this is not watercolor paper and I added a blob of paint. Don't do that. Use diluted watercolor. You can always add more if there's need later on. I'll keep adding matching colors to the paper. I'll add purple shades where there are purple wines, green watercolor where there's green and so on. When I'm happy with the result, I'll use some the same shades to apply diluted splatters. Once the panel is dry, I'll add fine black paint splatters and all I have to do next is stamp the sentiment. I hope you enjoyed this coloring session and will look at your pattern papers with brand new eyes. I received so many emails to do a video for these cards. Thank you very much for liking them and can't wait to see you guys recreating these or new card designs. Please tag me or Altenew when you do share. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye.